the Arnabies. So, guess what? Remember how I was saying that my shop is closing October 31st? Yeah. Um, that's been bumped up a month. I just got a call from my surgeon. I'm going for my hernia surgery on October 7th, which means that we have to have this shop closed by the end of this month because my surgery is going to be a fairly big one and I'm not going to be able to work for about three weeks. So, yeah. I don't know why the universe has decided to up the ante on this and to get me out of here even faster. There's got to be a reason. So I have to get the consignment stuff out of here. I have to get the stuff out of here that I don't want put in the big sale. <clears throat> like all of my amigurumi and plushies and my crochet stuff. And then I have to post signs and everything up there and post on Facebook that I'm having a 50% off sale and a closing store sale. I just want to throw up. Like this is happening really, really, really fast. It's kind of got me a little worried. I don't want to start thinking like what is hap what's going to happen in my surgery. Is there a reason why like, I'm starting to freak out a little bit? <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing. Yay. Uh, God. It's going to be nuts for the next little while. can't even think about it anyway so that's what's happening um of course I had to start a new project wouldn't be me if I didn't so I started using the lollipop yarn hi good hi. so every morning when I come to work these guys this the other one the other one's over here this one here are at my doorstep. They sit right here. And there's another bug that looks like a grasshopper, but it's black. And I looked it up and I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, a local bug. And it, it doesn't jump, it runs. And I'm like, oh my God. But it's harmless apparently. Um, but yeah, every day. Every day they're there, and that's apparently supposed to be a good thing. It's telling me that it's going to be change and oh, stuff like that, which is true. Um, I'll put a little thing up here <clears throat> that shows you what it means to have these moths at your doorstep. Good morning, Erin Bees. It is morning, obviously. <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, I'm about to get ready for work, but I have started my forest guardian for my friend's commission. And I thought I'd show you my progress. Here's a body. Um, I've got the eyes, the special eyes that I made for it. So now I'm going to start on the arms and then the ears and I'm going to do this color inside the ears to match the eyes um, and uh, and then what do I need to do? I need to put the, I need to make the little jacket and I'm not sure yet. She wants pink. I thought about doing this but then I was like no because 
that's um, plush yarn. So I have to do a regular yarn in pink. I just thought of that. So I got to find something. But I think she's cute so far. I love her eyes. Color shifting eyes. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then, gosh, you know, I don't even remember what I told you guys on my videos anymore. Because I, I do different clips on different days and stuff. And I can't even remember what I did like an hour from now. So, <laughs> but anyways, I, I think I told you guys, I got commissioned to do two dragons, the three foot dragons. So after I finish her, then I'm going to start on those dragons. Yay. I got to figure out colors for that. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, so I guess I better get off my butt and get going, get, go have a shower. Oh, excuse me. Have a shower and get ready for work. Mm. Yeah. And I have to pack up Jeff's stuff at the shop. Jeff is the guy, my wood guy at, um, that does my car decals and all the wood stuff in my shop. I'm going to pack up all his stuff today and he's going to come pick it up. Cause, uh, when I do my 50% off sale, I can't have his stuff in the shop. So any stuff in my shop, that's a commission uh, that's on commission. I have to take down cause that's not part of it. And then I have to figure out what I'm bringing home, like all of my stuffies, which kind of breaks my heart, really. Um, and all of my crochet stuff I'm going to bring home. <clears throat> and then everything else is going to go. So it's go time. Yay. <laughs> I'll be glad when this is done. And then I can start relaxing. And I can get on with getting on. So, right, right. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Good morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? <sighs> it's been a bit of a week, hasn't it? Um, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for all of your love and support. Um, the the whole Kraken thing was quite quite a blow for me and you guys came out in droves to support me and to send your love and your um, suggestions and, and stuff to try and save my, my Kraken um, yeah I just thank you thank you so much um, I, I don't know what I would do without you guys you you guys you get me through a lot of my stuff just by your comments um and then i get emails and um messenger messages and i just i love it <laughs> and some of you you say i'm so sorry for the long comment and you know what i absolutely love that i love that um, and I totally understand when people don't comment because you're watching me on your TV. Hello! <laughs> um, so I totally understand that. I, uh, but I know you're there. I know you're there. <laughs> um, so, yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so now I'm starting, as you saw, I'm starting with the Forest Guardian. It's going well. I left it at home. Um, I am working on some something else. Eh, not sure if it's going to work out, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, and then I, I got to start on those dragons because I got to get them. It's going to be crazy because I'm going to be starting my 50% off sale tomorrow. <sighs> and I have to get those dragons done. So... It's, yeah, it's going to be a whirlwind, whirlwind for the next while. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to tell Dave the dog walker that I'm leaving. Um, Dave and Bailey have quite a bond. And he, 
Bailey is like his therapy dog when I'm at the shop. So this is going to be really difficult on him. Um, he'll never show that to me. But I know, I know it will be. So I'm thinking about crocheting him a dog and getting a good picture of Bailey and putting it in a frame and uh, making up this, making up a little package for him um, to say thank you. Maybe getting him a gift certificate to the Owl's Nest Cafe because he goes there every morning. And um, yeah. I mean, he's, he's really, he's really been there, um, for Bailey, and Bailey's going to miss him too. I know that. She really looks forward to going to the shop and going for her walks, so, uh, I think it's going to be hard on everybody all the way around, but once I get over the initial sadness, um, I think... I, I'm not even going to have a chance to get over the initial sadness because I'm going to be going right into surgery. So um, I'm going to have a whole other type of sadness. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm um, going in for surgery on the 7th. George's sister is getting married uh, the week after, I think it is. George seems to think I'm going to be able to go to this wedding. I don't think I am because I am going to be healing. So um, that's not going to be, um, yeah, I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. He seems to think, oh no, you'll be fine. And I'm like, mm -mm. me and surgeries don't mix that well. So, yeah. <clears throat> But anyway, so I got a lot to do today. Uh, getting prepared. Jeff is gonna, Jeff the wood guy, he's gonna make up a sign for me <clears throat> that says store closing, 50% off, so I can put that in my window. And um, yeah. Oh, and George is calling. Okay, you guys. So I'm at Michael's. I just embraced my seniors discount yeah that was a hard one to swallow uh, but 10% is 10% right so I got a whole bag of stuff <laughs> so so I got my seniors discount plus my 30% discount off one item and then I went over to the drugstore because I had to I had to go and get my whoops Ow. My God, look at that bags under my ass. Holy cow. I had to go get my Libre thing for my arm for my diabetes. And they gave me a $20 discount for being a senior. Half of me is going, yes. The other half of me is going, damn it. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, just embrace it. Just embrace it. You just saved $30. Just embrace it. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> I didn't realize my hair was quite so bad. Uh good morning. <laughs> I yeah. I it's uh I don't even know what time it is. <clears throat> 7 30 in the morning and I'm yeah, it's already been a morning, <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, I got up this morning. I had three t-shirts that I had to make. And I actually... Oh, okay. All right, what's happening with my computer here? Um, I had three t-shirts for customers that I had to make. <clears throat> I, know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> no more customer service, customer commissions. Yeah, I know, I get it. Um, so I started my... 50% off sale at the shop yesterday. I tell you, you guys, where were all those people when I needed them? 
people are coming in and buying the yarn. I had a lady come in yesterday. She bought two bags full of yarn. She got it for $28. I almost threw up. <sighs> so, <clears throat> I'm sure that the next few days is going to be really busy. <sighs> anyway, I have to just get over it and just move on. So, <clears throat> but, um, George is about to walk in the door here. I can hear him. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be my week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to start on those dragons. Oh, and there he is. Just got tagged again, but I'll get the recycling and stuff out. Say hello. What was it? I just see you. Yeah. Hello. You're talking to YouTube. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Yardabies! <laughs> Uh, uh, <clears throat> you heard me say I'm taking the garbage out. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Good time. They were real people. Good man. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, I'm going to start on the dra the two dragons that I have to make because my forest guardian's on hold because this... Here I go. Because <laughs> this... Oh. oh, and he's tripping over his own yarn because <laughs> he doesn't ever look down. <laughs> yarn everywhere. Um, and this time it's not mine. <laughs> You're showing the hat that we just made. Oh, okay, hang on. This is the it, uh, Itsy Bitsy, no, Bitsy, Bitsy They're Stripes. They're one of a kind. You'll never see another one like it. <laughs> right? This is the Bitsy Stripes, uh, Red Heart Bitsy Stripes. So, yeah, so it's reversible. It's actually really nice. It's thicker than I thought it was going to be, but... Yeah, so he's starting to make these. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Right. You're going to hear him crashing because he's putting the recycling out, as you already know. This is too thick. If you look at the difference between the white, oops, the white and this, it's quite a bit different. I didn't realize that uh, when I got it. I, I didn't think about that. So this is too thick. I can't use it for the ears. Um, what am I doing here? So, but this is what I've got so far. I got his arms on. So yeah. So now I, I need to make his ear, make her ears and her jacket. I guess I could probably make the jacket and stuff now but <clears throat> yeah so I've got that part done um I yeah so I ordered some more yarn for the ears so while that's on its way good god while that's on its way I'm going to start on those dragons because that's going to take me a bit of time <sighs> I just got to figure out what colors I'm going to do it in, um, cause one, I think one's for a girl and one's for a guy. So, uh, what else? I can't even think. He derailed me. Um, again, I just want to thank everybody for all the comments. The comments are still coming in. I appreciate that you guys are, um, thanking Jeanette. I really, really appreciate that. <clears throat> um, she deserves all the love and support as well. Um, she's such a special girl, girl, woman. Um, and so talented, so talented. I really wish that she would start doing her videos again. I really miss seeing her on, on YouTube. Same with my bestie, Sandy Duda from Left is Right Crochet. I really miss seeing her on camera too. <clears throat> I'm sure everybody does. <laughs> so, but anyway. All right. I'm going to go. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to work on today. I'm hope I'm thinking I'm going to be pretty busy with customers. So it, I can't do anything that I have to really think about. Because I'm, if I'm counting and a bunch of customers are coming in, I'm just going to mess everything up. So I think I'm just going to take... Oh, 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 did you guys see 
the new tutorial that um, Angela from My Precious Yarnery just put out. She put out another hooded sweater. Oh my god. I have to do it. Maybe that's what I'll work on. God, how many, how many sweaters have I got going on? Oh, I Maybe I'll work on that one today. What should I do with it? I know you're going to say the Angela cotton, but I'm not going to use the cotton for a sweater. Um, oh, I'm going to think about that. Because I just got some new... I got some... Oh, those cakes. Oh, those cakes I just got. Mm -hmm. Yes. Again, yes. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that sweater. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to do today. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I got to get ready for work. And uh, I will talk to you in a while. Okay. So it's been kind of that. Look at this. Um, the little word. Um, it's been that kind of a day. I just spent, you know, 10 minutes talking and realized I had my stereo on, so I would have got a copyright, so I had to, I have to redo this. <clears throat> I'm, I'm so done. I'm so done. I want out. I want out of this. I want it over. <sighs> my head hurts. Ugh. You know, so many people are say, making comments saying, Oh, I'm so sorry to see you leaving and all this. And I'm thinking, you've never been in my store. You've never shopped here. You know. Um, or people, local people are saying the same thing. And, you know, it's like, well, where were you when my store was open? You know, kind of thing. Or I'm getting people that are from the outer areas that are saying, I didn't even know you were here. Or I, I very rarely come to Shimanus. Or I've only been here once. Or, you know, and I'm going, okay. Um, I found out that there's a thrift store just up the street that's closing too. They're having a big sale. So it's not just me. There's other shops that are closing as well and getting the hell out of Dodge because it's just not happening here. It's not. Um, so I don't feel bad about it anymore. I just want it done. And then today, I'm getting nickel and dime to death. I had a $1 sale, $2 sale, $3 sale, $5 sale. Then I had a $15 sale. Woohoo! Jeez. Even a 50% off. I still have people coming in here and looking around and then leaving. A 50% off. I just can't. Anyway, so last night, it was um, 11 o'clock. Actually, it was 11.11, <laughs> which is kind of weird. <laughs> she's, she's just passed right out. <laughs> Dave the dog walker. Um, at 11.11, sign of angels, my phone starts beeping. It's my... Um, my Libre, my, this thing, my glucose plummeted to 2.9, I think it was. I was like, what the hell? Um, so I, I got up right away and I went and ate a piece of fruit because I thought, what is that? And I thought, well, maybe my Libre is not working properly. So I reset my phone or, um, restarted my phone and nope it was still low and I felt fine but that's like getting to the danger levels so this is my second week at 0.5 mils on the Ozempic so I gotta wait now until Monday and contact um, my diabetic doctor and say hey um, do you want to take a look at my Libre and tell me why my glucose is plummeting like this because I went from between 8 and 13 down to 6 and 2 
Five and six is normal. Two is not. Bye. So, yeah. So I don't know. And it's on the floor. Um, yeah, so that's kind of got me worried. Um, any of you that are on Ozempic, can you let me know if that's happened to you? Because that never happened to me the last time I was on Ozempic. I don't think. Maybe it did. I never had a Libre back then. So I don't know. It's weird. But I've got, I'm having stomach pains, like almost like gas pains. It's weird. And I heard that that's uh, a side effect. So, and the nausea. Ugh, terrible. Look at this, you guys. Like, I'm just... Oh, I'm just not sleeping properly. So, anyway. <clears throat> um, so, I brought this dragon to work on here. And this is how far I've got. I had to frog this, like, five times. I just have not been able to figure, like, have not been able to um, get it to work out. And then finally I went down a couple of hook sizes and it's finally starting to work. Because um, last, I was using a six millimeter and the stuffing was poking through. So now I'm at a five millimeter and it seems to be working out okay. Because I can't remember what hook size I used on the other two dragons I did. So, yeah, it's hot as balls here. Well, might not be considering other regions or whatever, it's not hot, but I don't know, Bailey's hot. Look at this. She's like a melted dog. <laughs> she, I got the fan going and yeah, it's warm. Today's not as warm as it was yesterday though. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, I'm having a hard time being here. I'm just, I'm done. I want it done. Done, done, done. Ugh. My sister's coming tomorrow to come stay overnight at my house. Yay! Um, she's going to help me with the basement. Ooh. Uh, it's going to be interesting. But, um, yeah. So that should be fun. Not. Uh, it seems like every time she comes over, it's to help me clean out my house. <laughs> she, she likes doing it, but I feel guilty because it's not like a visit. It's like, you know, trying to get the place, my house all organized and everything. It's, for her, it's like a mini vacation. For me, not so much. Oh, well. Anyway, I gotta get this dragon done, or get it started anyway, past the tip of the tail. <laughs> I got three feet to do. <laughs> so I guess I better get on it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, yarn of bees. Okay, so it's nighttime. <laughs> I've been working on the forest guardian since I got home. And she's finished. Are you ready to see her? She's pretty freaking cute. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> now I just hope that my friend's gonna like her. You ready? Okay. Let's straighten you out a little bit here. What do you think? She's got a long tail. She's got the black tail. Look at her nose. She's got a little nose. I I made an actual jacket. Like this this one is different than the one that I made before. Um, yeah, it's like a, a <laughs> it's almost like a, a little pre-made jacket. But yeah, I actually did like the the points in it to give the sleeves like a raglan style points. Never done that before in a, something like this. So, then she's got a flower. So, what do you think? What do you think? Is she cute? I'm, I think she's cute. 
I'm pretty happy. I love the way the, I love the way the green turned out. I wasn't sure. Pink and green, I was like, eh. But I'm actually glad that I used this green. I I used the the loops and threads um, sweet snuggle light. I saw this at um, Michael's and I thought, okay, well, it's not exactly lime green. It's more of a mint green, but um, I think it turned out really pretty. I gave it like a dusty rose pink. Um, and I think these two colors together work well. So, and her eyes match her jewels. So, what do you think? Give me your comments. <laughs> I made her tail longer than the other one. And uh, I think she turned out good. So, yeah, her little toe beans. <laughs> I really hope that she likes her. So I did the, the pink and white beads on her jacket and then I did the green on her up, up on her head. So, yeah. So she's done. She's done. She's done. <sighs> now I got to start on the dragons. I'm actually, oh, I don't have it here. Do I? Oh, wait. Ah. Yep. I decided I'm going to do the first dragon in the black and white. And, uh, let's see how that goes. But this is finished. I'm so happy. So happy. But I, because I used the, um, the same Sweet Snuggles light to go around her sweater. This is, um, what is this? This is Bernat Premium. Just regular. No, it's not. Where is it? Is it Bernat Premium? Yeah, it is Bernat Premium. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. So, she's done. Okay, now I can relax and I'll start her. Oh. Excuse me. I'll start the dragon tomorrow. Um, it's funny, in my last clip I said, you know, how much I wish that I could see Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten, in, back on video. And then I, I started editing this part of the video, and boom, there was a video of Jeanette. <laughs> Her link is always down below. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. So I messaged her and I says, I was just saying. <laughs> so yeah. So, but anyway, okay, we're going to go. We're going to go relax. I'll talk to you later. Say bye. Hey, Yarna Bees. <sighs> it's 1030 at night. I'm working on the dragon. And I got, oops, I'm pulling it out. I got the tail and most of the body done and I started thinking about it. Remember how I was talking about what it would be like if I weighted the dragon down with these poly beads? Well, I'm at that point where I could probably start doing that. So I'm wondering if I should attempt this. So here's the, the little bag. The, um, you guys, this bag. <laughs> oh my God. So I think I don't have a measuring cup or anything, but if I just take like a handful at a time, and hopefully I don't drop this all over the place like I'm trying to do. My couch is going to be full of this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I should probably go get a spoon. But I'm too lazy right now. <laughs> These aren't actually as heavy as I thought they were, really. So that's that much. And it's not very heavy. 
I really thought these beads were going to be heavier. Okay, that's six little handfuls. And that's not very heavy. Huh. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, there's ten. Okay, that's more like it. Hmm. So, that's ten little handfuls. That's better. But it seems like that's going to be a little bit to get in here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there. I wonder if I should put a little bit of stuffing in this bag. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to knot this pretty good. I don't want it coming apart. So where's the top? I think that's the top. Oops. Ooh. This is going to be fun. I'm trying to get this in here. Um, give me a second. Okay, so I got the weighted bag in here, and it's um, yeah, it's fairly weighted. It's it's pretty good, but I'm definitely going to have to stuff the rest of the body and put polyfill up on the top here just to fill fill out the body some. So let me try that and see how it goes. So I put the weights in the bottom and I stuffed it all the way around. And I think, I think that's going to be pretty good. Hmm. I have to do some more rows on the end here. Uh, I got to do six more rows on the end and then I can stuff it a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's going to be kind of cool. Hmm. I was worried that it was going to be kind of lumpy, but I just did that and it um, leveled itself out a little bit. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's finish the rest. Okay. Way over so far. Um, okay, so here it is. I got it stuffed pretty good. And this is the flat part. I'm just keep going like this to make sure it goes flat and it actually it's working out pretty good it's um I like it I like I like the feel of it I like the heft to it um, now I'm just thinking like when I sew on the legs that's gonna be fun because that's pretty solid so but yeah so so far I've gotten so far yeah I'm not gonna go there yet. <laughs> Okay, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I'll finish this tomorrow or something. Okay, bye. <laughs>